Ngayong quarantine season, maraming nausong pagkain. Isa sa mga ginawa natin na trending foods ay yung ating cheesy milky donuts. At ang isa pang nauuso ngayon na palagi natin nakikita on social media ay baked sushi. Marami sa inyo nag-request na ituro ko yung paggawa nito pero marami din naman sa inyo ang nag-suggest na paano naman kaming mga walang oven. Okay? So by the way, this is peach cocktail. After this recipe, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ito gawin. It's very refreshing, especially ngayong mainit. So for the baked sushi or layered no-baked sushi, kasi pwede mo din siyang i-bake actually, kailangan mo ng Japanese rice. no? So this is 2 cups of Japanese rice. Local Japanese rice. So they call it Japanese rice pero it's grown here in the Philippines. Local malagkit. 2 cups, sinaing natin with 3 cups of water. Lalagyan mo yan ng vinegar, 2 tablespoons of white vinegar, 1 tablespoon of white sugar, and 1 tablespoon of Japanese soy sauce. So, napaka-importante kasi na yung baked sushi mo, kanin pa lang, malasa na. Lahat ng layers dapat may flavor. Hindi yung pagpunta nila sa ilalim, wala na silang malasahan, no? So, it's very, very important. Again, all components ng iyong niluluto or kahit na anong ginagawa mo, kailangan malasa, no? Sushi is a famous Japanese uh, food. Uh, ang pinaka-objective ng sushi is really to preserve the fish para mapahaba yung buhay ng fish. Paano? Through putting vinegar onto the rice. So, traditional talaga, traditional sushi, may suka talaga yung kanin. No? Hindi siya lasang sushi kung hindi mo lalagyan ng vinegar. Ang pinaka-addition na nilagay natin dito, the Japanese soy sauce to make the rice flavorful. Kung problema mo yung paninikit ng kanin, meron ka dapat dito bowl with water. And then, yan yung gagamitin mo para matanggal yung paninikit ng kanin sa kamay mo. Okay? So, this is ready. And the rice is very delicious. Pwede mo ding tikman yan. So, I'm going to remove my uh, gloves. And then, iset aside natin to. Gawin naman natin yung second component natin. So, the second component is, this is the cheesy corn. O, oh, diba? Buti pa yung corn. Cheesy. Kailangan mo ng dalawang lata na uh, whole corn kernels. So, ito yung aking bindili. Nag-supermarket kasi ako kahapon. It's very nice. Very sweet. And buo-buo talaga yung kernels. And kailangan mo din ng uh, half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm using Ladies' Choice Mayonnaise or Tesco Mayonnaise. Papakita ko sa inyo tong Tesco Mayonnaise. I, I saw this when I went to the supermarket. It's very, very delicious. But you can also use ladies' choice. Or pwede din ang best foods. Basta, basta real mayonnaise. So half a cup of real mayonnaise. Half a cup of cream cheese. And kailangan mo din ng 1 to 2 tablespoons of Japanese soy sauce. So napaka-importante. As, as mentioned dun sa iyong rice, lahat ng layers kailangan flavorful. Kaya lahat ng layers, nilalagyan natin ng Japanese soy sauce. There is no room na para sabihin na ay kinapos sa lasa. Hindi dapat kinakapos sa flavor. Hindi dapat kinakapos sa pagmamahal. So make sure you season it correctly and generously. So I'm going to put my soy sauce, Japanese soy sauce. 1 to 2 tablespoons kasi kung feeling mo 2 tablespoons will be too salty. 1 tablespoon pwede na. No? So this is my cheesy corn. Nahalo ko na. Okay? So this is the second component. Yung cream cheese mo, 1 hour before you start mixing, ilabas mo na para hindi ka nahihirapan. So, you, we set it aside. 
itatabi natin dyan lahat ng ating components. Okay? And then, yung ating last component is the crab meat or the crab stick layer. Okay? For the crab stick layer, kailangan mo ng half a kilo of crab meat or crab stick. This one, binibili ko na yan ng shredded. May nabibili sa supermarket na ganyan. Kung wala ka naman mabiling shredded crab meat, you buy the traditional and then i-chop-chop mo na lang. 500 grams of crab meat. Kung wala kang mabiling crab meat, sa supermarket ngayon ay mahirap maghanap ng crab meat dahil usong-uso nga yung baked sushi. You can also use salmon. You just steam the salmon or you microwave it. Pagkaluto, i-crumble mo lang. 1 and 1 4 cups of good mayonnaise. 1 tablespoon of Japanese soy sauce. 1 tablespoon of sesame oil. 1 4 teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Kailangan medyo may konting spice, no? Para yung, yung uh, flavor... Uh, nagkakaroon ng confusion. Hindi puro creamy yung nalalasahan. Putting spices, it, it will not really make your dish very spicy na hindi mo kayang kainin, but it will make it more interesting. Ibig sabihin, maski kalahati na nung baked sushi or nung sushi layer yung nakain mo, hindi ka nauumay because there is confusion. Different flavors bursting. No? So we're putting cayenne pepper If you don't have cayenne pepper You put chili powder And Old Bay seasoning Perfect for seafood Kaya tayo naglalagay Alam ko hindi authentic no? Because Japanese sushi They don't put Old Bay seasoning But this is just to make it Really interesting And extra flavorful so, you will put all the ingredients here. Pero alam ko, mamaya itatanong nyo, what brands are you using? O, pakita mo sa kanila yan. So, this is the sesame oil that I'm using. I bought this from the Korean store. no? And this is the soy sauce that I'm using also. It's a very good Japanese soy sauce. no? And very affordable. Nabili ko to sa all-day supermarket. They carry this brand. Very affordable and very good. Oh, this one I bought from the Korean store. Very affordable then and very good. So, statements talaga na hindi kailangan mahal ang gagamitin mong ingredients para maging masarap yung iyong lulutuin. Ang mahalaga, mahal ka. Okay? Hindi kailangan super mahal ng ingredients mo. So, balik tayo dito. You will just combine all these. You can recycle the spoon. Kasi same ano lang naman yan. Crab meat. Mayonnaise. Pwede ka din gumamit ng Japanese mayonnaise. Pero alam ko, magre-reklamo kayo mamaya because Japanese mayonnaise are quite expensive. And I'm sure, marami sa inyo, you plan to sell this recipe. You put uh, soy sauce. The Old Bay Seasoning and the Cayenne Pepper. Itong sushi bake is actually what we call the fu fusion. Kasi in, in Japan, there's really no such thing. No? Wala kang masyadong makikitang ganito doon. So, th th this is a result of creativity. Kung sino man ang naka-invento nito, thank you so much because it's very very interesting. Especially during this quarantine season. It adds excitement to the table, no? So, yeah, you just mix them all together. Ready na yan. And as simple as that, ready ka nang mag-assemble. Kailangan mo din ng cucumber that you chop into smaller cubes. And then, alam ko, maraming magtatanong sa inyo, saan po nakakabilin nito? This is the fish row. Or we call this Tobiko. Paki-zoom lang natin dito. I buy this from South Supermarket. Tung Tobiko. No, ito yung nakikita mo sa ibabaw ng ng California Maki. Where they roll the California Maki. Eh paano po yan? Wala po kaming makita sa area namin na Tobiko. And kung meron man, medyo mahal po. 
no, medyo mahal po siya. So, what you can do is, yung carrots, i-finely chop mo. You finely chop the carrots or a food processor mo, so you will arrive to a similar texture. O, tignan nyo. Pag nilagay mo yan sa ibabaw ng sushi mo, uh, almost the same ang kanyang itsura. And it also gives the crunchy, delicious texture that you're looking for. Okay? So, are you ready to assemble this? Kailangan mo ng uh, microwavable container or it's really up to you. Kung ibebake mo, ipapakita ko din sa inyo kung paano ang gagawin mo pag ibebake mo. You get some rice. Konti lang. Huwag kang maglagay masyado ng madaming kanin kasi uh, mas maganda yung may balance yung feeling and yung uh, rice. Okay? The proper balance. That's, yun talaga ang meaning ng Japanese cooking. Japanese cuisine is all about balance on the foundation, on the feelings, on the topping. So, kailangan balancing balance ang iyong feeling. Doon mo malalaman kung totoo talaga ang iyong nararamdaman. You balance everything. Okay, I'm using this spoon kasi the mayonnaise uh, para hindi manikit yung kanin. Madulas kasi yung mayonnaise. After this, no, I'm going to put some of my crab meat feeling. Yan. Ilagay mo lahat ang feelings mo para mas malasa. Use a small spatula para pantay. No? Para pantay na pantay siya. And then, makikita mo na first layer. To make the layering interesting, you put cucumber. And this will also add texture. Kailangan kasi may texture tayo. May texture, may color, may flavor. No? Para talagang yung niluluto mo, yung binebenta mo, is not only appealing to the palate, but also appealing to the eyes. Kasi remember, the eyes eat first. Kaya nga, di ba, nauso yung love at first sight. Unang tingin mo lang na in love ka na. So how do you maintain the feelings? Pagluto mo nung masarap. You put the corn... Okay? Itong corn, hindi masyadong madami nilalagay ko kasi medyo nandyan yung umay uh, effect because of the cheese. But it's really up to you. And then, you put again some of the crab meat. Until almost full. Pero kailangan matatakpan mo rin. No? Ang dali lang gawin nito actually. And kung hindi ka mahilig sa ay, nagkikito diet ako or whatever diet, ayaw ko nang may kanin. Oh, this is already a kani salad. Pwede mong ibalot yan sa, sa lettuce. No? Konti pa siguro. Maganda kasi yung medyo puno. Para talagang hindi ka tinitipid. Nag-uumapaw. O, diba? Those are words uh, that we used to describe foods, pero kinikilig ka habang binabanggit at habang pinapakinggan mo. No? And then, how do you put this? Kuha ka lang ng konti nito. The carrots. And then, ikalat mo lang sa ibabaw. So, parang na siyang yung iyong tobiko. Ang sakit lang nitong layered sushi is, it is highly perishable. Ibig sabihin, mabilis lang ang kanyang shelf life. So, dapat consume immediately. Pagkagawa mo nito, mas maganda i-refrigerator mo muna before you sell it. And then, I'm going to put also some peaches. Oops. Pwede ding mangoes ang ilagay mo. I just like using peaches kasi mas consistent. And hindi siya basta-basta nangingitim. 
Okay, just put some peaches there. Yeah. Oh, di ba? And then, takpan mo. I-refrigerator mo muna siya for around one hour bago mo siya ibenta sa iyong customer, no? And then, meron na pong ginawa na kanina. Ipapakita ko sa inyo yon, Okay, pero ayan, tignan nyo din mabuti yan. And then, meron din akong binik. Meron akong binik. This is the one that I bake. 10 minutes lang. You just bake it for 10 minutes. O, di ba? Ay, parang hindi siya ganun kagandang tignan. Lagyan mo ng konti nito. To put color. And then you can also put some peaches. Pero for this one, gawin nating uh, bigger slices. Or cubes. Don't worry, I washed my hands with Safeguard and last night I was reading this book about Japanese uh, food. The Japanese when they make sushi, talagang bare hands ang gamit nila because they really want a very strong, oh tandaan nyo tong words na to, they really want a very strong and intimate relationship with their food. Oh, so tayo, no? Experience din natin yung very strong and intimate relationship. O, oh, diba? And then, papakita ko sa inyo yung aking niref. Ginawa ko to kanina. Niref ko na to kanina. See? Kailangan, pag binuksan ng customer mo yan, hindi dapat siya nasisira, No? And then of course, when you sell it, or pag pinangregalo mo yan, partneran mo ng isang pack nitong roasted seaweeds. This one you can buy from Korean store. I buy mine from SNR kasi I find it cheaper. So this is how you eat it. You get a spoon. Ako, dalawang piraso ang aking ginagamit. And then humukay ka. I'll show you kung anong itsura niya pagkahukay mo. See? Look at the layering. It's very creamy without hindi siya nasisira. Tingnan mo tong nasa tong kinuhanan ko. Hindi siya dapat basta-basta nasisira. Okay? Buo pa din siya. Okay, I'll try this one. Mm. The bait. Look at the layers. Tingnan mo yung layers niya, no? Oh. And hindi basta-basta nasisira. It's very important kasi na hindi puro kanin yung nakakain. Kailangan may balance. Again, that's very important. Sa bake, hindi yan huhulas because mayonnaise contains eggs. So, magsa-stabilize lalo yung eggs. So, the choice is yours whether you want to bake it Whether you want to serve it cold, malamig man, mainit, sana sa init, sana sa lamig. Ang importante, masaya ka at marami kang napapasaya. I'll see you again next time. Happy weekend, stay safe, and enjoy in the kitchen.